Guys, how's it going? My first ever YouTube video. So first of all, welcome to my new channel. Feels weird saying that. But I've pretty much created this YouTube account for one specific reason. It's to document my journey of me becoming a pro bodybuilder. And even saying that, it sounds really weird. To be honest, it's one thing that I've always wanted to do, but I've never just plucked up the courage to actually pursue it. So recently, within the last seven to 10 days, hired a coach, um, his name's Patrick Tour, and we're gonna set out to help me become a pro bodybuilder. In terms of the steps that I have to take, don't have a clue what I have to do. Um, I've competed once before, I was around 20, so around five years ago. Uh, so I pretty much, I don't know what to do, but I know obviously have to do the work, have to qualify in order to get an opportunity to turn into obviously a professional bodybuilder. So this channel is specifically going to be providing you with information in terms of training, motivation, and overall just getting behind the scenes, understanding a little bit more about my life. One thing that I don't do is show a lot of my life. So I'm gonna not be a recluse anymore and I'm gonna share a lot of stuff with you guys. So if there is anything that you have any questions on, anything like that, just pop it in the comments. And of course, I'm here to accommodate you. And I suppose the one last thing is that I'll put up on the screen, I will do it some little bit, on the screen, my new plan. It's very elaborate, um, just with regards to training and with regards to nutrition, just to give you a better insight. I literally want to give you every single detail as to what I'm doing. And I want to get into the ugly as well. I want you to understand my struggles and just to understand my vulnerabilities as well as obviously my wins. But honestly, I'm super excited and hopefully you guys are too. My big reason why, honestly guys, I am at a stage in my life where I feel that for me to actually obtain my pro card, I am destined for that. And the reason why I feel like this, I suppose, is because if you rewind to a very young age, secondary school days, I have been making sacrifices from then with regards to food right up until now. I have literally devoted my whole life to two things, and that's personal development in the form of training, uh, educating myself, and the second thing is actually serving my clients very, very well. By me going on this journey, it's going to help them two areas massively. And the thing is, I'm not gonna breeze through it, guys. It's going to be extremely challenging and extremely difficult for me. I know that for me to do this, it is a huge commitment, more commitment than I've ever had in my life. And you can probably hear from my voice, but it genuinely does scare me. But equally, on the other end, it does excite me because I know that I am going to be relentless until I actually get my pro card. I don't care how many attempts it takes me, I'm going to be relentless because I have wanted this for so long and I'm at a stage now where I'm in a position to actually obtain it. So it's just a matter of obviously doing the work. With the new coach that I hired, Patrick, the reason why I hired Patrick, guys, is because he works with the highest tier athletes when it comes to bodybuilding. He works with guys like James Hollinshead, Ian Valerie, and other big dudes. And I suppose for me, I just want the best guidance when I'm doing this. I want to be working with someone who is serving the elite. And it just turned out that Patrick was the best guy and he was best suited uh, for the goal that I've actually put in place. At the minute, me and Patrick have decided to go through a detox phase. The reason why we're on a detox phase, guys, is because I got my bloods done, they came back, they weren't what we wanted in terms of actually starting a prep, I'm not in a position to. It's okay, I'm healthy, I'm not gonna die, I don't have any diseases, anything like that. We just simply aren't in the position that we need to in order to actually start prep. So what we're doing is going through a detox phase. That detox phase entails a morning cardio, 20 minutes morning cardio, it's just walking, it's nothing crazy. 
around five to six liters of water a day and a lot of supplements just to bring, as I said, just to bring some markers back in range. We'll do this for three weeks. I'm on like week two now. And then after three weeks, I will send away to get my bloods retested. And once I obviously get them back and I know that I'm good to go, then we will start prep. The thing is guys, when it comes to bodybuilding, when it comes to prep, it is not healthy. It is heavy on the body. And that is exactly why we're doing a detox phase before we actually go into prep. Just to ensure that I can mitigate anything that could potentially be harmful further down the line. My training split at the minute, I'm assuming that it will change, but pretty simple guys. I actually haven't followed anything like this from probably when I started training around 16. It's sort of like a bro split. So on Monday, I'll do chest and calves. On Tuesday, I will do hamstrings and biceps. Wednesday, shoulders and triceps. I will rest on Thursday. Then on Friday, I'll do back. On Saturday, I will do quads and calves. And then on Sunday, I will rest again. With every single one of them muscle groups, what I need to do is simply select four exercises per muscle group, and I'll do two working sets. The first set is between six to eight reps. Then I'll rest, and the second set will be between 12 and 15 reps. Full disclosure, my biggest fear with doing this prep, honestly, two things. Number one is my weak areas when it comes to muscle groups, and that is my calves and my hamstrings. They would be, more so calves, they would be two areas that I really need to focus on and bring up. Specifically if I'm going to be stepping on stage beside other boys who obviously are big guys. The second thing is posing. I am not very charismatic when it comes to posing guys. I've done one show before, as I said, and my family still reminds me of how awkward I was on stage to this day. And it was like over five years ago. So there are two things that I'm really gonna to have to put a lot of energy into. And of course, with repetition, I will learn, I will get better at it. But they're the two biggest fears that are inside my head at the minute. So it'll be very exciting to actually see progress in them two areas. In terms of what category I will slot into, honestly guys, I haven't got a clue right now. I'll leave that to my coach. In my head, I love the idea of classic bodybuilding, but obviously moving to England and then America, it is very different in terms of categories. So I'll probably filter through maybe one or two categories. I'm not too sure just yet. What is the next step? Pretty much just retest for my bloods in the next week or so. Once I get them back and I'm in a position to actually start a prep, I will do so. In terms of choosing the show, what category, all that good stuff, my coach will decide everything from that standpoint. And of course, I'll just be in the background doing the main thing, which is food, training and posing, which is going to be brilliant. So yeah, guys, honestly, I really, really appreciate you watching this video. And I do appreciate all the support every single person gives me. I'm not just saying that, I do genuinely mean it. And in order for me to actually go on this journey, the only reason why I'm documenting, documenting it, the only reason why I'm doing it is because I know that it helps you guys. So if you help me, I will help you. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you in the next video.